Hello, my name is Mara, and today's case is about Leo James Wagner. He was 26 years old when he went missing from St. Mary, Montana in 2021. I want to remind everyone I try to do my very best research and get the most accurate information with every single case that I cover. I hope to just help get his story out so Leo and his family can receive the justice that they all deserve. Leo was born on January 31st of 1995. He was the father of five. He loved joking and always had everyone laughing. He also was very close to his family. Leo also helped out at his family's ranch and was a boxer. On April 27th of 2021, Blackfeet law enforcement got a call in St. Mary, Montana about a man possibly under the influence walking near St. Mary Lake. Law enforcement then receives a second call around 6.35 p.m. that the same man was walking north on West Shore Road with an injured arm. When authorities respond, they're unable to locate this man. So whether this was actually Leo or not is really unsure. Two days later, on April 29th of 2021, Blackfeet law enforcement received a missing report for Leo James Wagner, and they go ahead and talk with his family and friends about his last known whereabouts. So here is a map of the area he was possibly last seen, around the Bab, Montana and St. Mary, Montana area. Then you can also see the St. Mary Lake, where he may have been, but after they searched for any sign of Leo, they were not able to locate him. On May 2nd of 2021, there's a cabin near Big Nose Bay that was burglarized. In this cabin, there was clothing found and Leo's family, family was able to identify some of these items as his. And it also sadly appeared that a severe injury had occurred in and around this cabin. And on Monday, July 26th of 2021, the Blackfeet Tribal Business Council approved a resolution offering a reward of $10,000 in Leo's case and also a reward of $10,000 in a three-year-old girl, Arden Pepion's case, who was last seen on April 22nd of 2021. They both went missing from the Blackfeet Indian Reservation. And I plan on making a separate video about her case as well. And with the law enforcement in this area, sadly, they're very understaffed, which really does not help when they're searching. Um, former Blackfeet Tribal Business Council Secretary Mark Pollock said about 18 tribal police officers are patrolling the reservation, which spans 1.5 million acres. But because officers must take off between their shifts. Pollock said sometimes two officers may be responsible for patrolling the entire reservation, and that's a lot of land to be responsible for. And honestly, there is very little information at this point about Leo's disappearance. So that's really all I have for today with the details that are even, I guess, somewhat known because it's not even all completely 100% clear. Um, it's also really disappointing and crazy to me how certain cases have this massive amount of coverage and then some of them there's only like one or two articles that you can find. But if you have anything else to add, please comment down below. And most importantly, if you know anything about Leo's disappearance, please speak up and tell authorities. I'll put the numbers down below for the contact information and his family and children deserve to know where he is and what happened to him. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.